welcome back my viewers and subscribers so today is gonna be another great vlog coming your way hope everyone is doing good so I have my peas on the fire right now so I'm putting in my garlic and I'm also putting in my ginger in today's vlog I'm gonna be cooking a rice and peas with jerk chicken and I'm not sure what veg I'm gonna be looking after today so Hopefully I can come up with something that you guys will like. So guys, my peas is boiling. It's coming along real good with my garlic and my ginger. One thing I never cook without my garlic and my ginger. So I'm gonna... So this is the coconut that I just picked out, out of the shell. So I'm gonna greater them for my coconut juice I'm doing things the old fashioned Jamaican way real coconut for my rice and peas no powdered coconut this is the coconut milk this is the final part of blending the coconut so I'm gonna add my coconut juice into my peas and one thing I like about using the natural coconut to cook with when you cook the rice and peas you can actually taste the coconut into your rice and peas that give it that real Jamaican flavor so this is my chicken which I'm gonna be using for my jerk chicken so I'm gonna be adding some vinegar to wash my chicken what I'm gonna be using three stalks of scallion one whole of white onion and my jerk season as usual and my meat season now the reason why i'm using the scallion and the onion is just to add some fresh season towards my jerk because i already have my marinated season already but i'm just re-entering some fresh season towards the jerk one white onion also pieces of ginger some chopped garlic season and this is the jerk season guys I'm adding two spoon two and a half spoon and just a little bit of meat season not too much because one thing I don't like to eat a lot of salt but I rather my food to be fresh than salt because if it is fresh then you could add some salt but if it is salt you cannot add nothing you need to get out the salt some pimento seed guys always remember the pimento seed and then we're gonna rub in and the next thing I'm gonna be adding is some browning just a little bit not too much just to give it some color to it because I don't want to use too much browning because I don't really want the meat to be too dark a little bit more guys so I'm checking on my peas but guys can you see the coconut milk in the in the peas boiling oh my Jamaica life is one of the best you can't get no better trust me 
peas is done cooked now guys so I'm gonna add one pepper in my rice and peas pot scallion thyme and also piece of bell pepper with two spoon of butter and just some salt my rice and peas pot so I just add my salt my skelly and my thyme my pepper in my pot so my rice and peas pot just done season up so the next step I'm gonna be doing is washing the rice I'm gonna be adding the rice to the rice and peas pot flavor with the coconut milk that we are looking for so I'm giving the rice a little stir happy Sunday to each and every one rice and peas jerk chicken for dinner Guys, I'm putting off my chicken. This is my joy chicken. So, every, everyone do things different. Normally, some people just put the raw chicken on the grill. So, they are jerking the chicken. So, what I'm doing, I'm pre cooking my chicken before I jerk my chicken. So, this is it. My jerk chicken that I'm going to be setting off to pre cook. So after I put them in the foil pot, I just add a little bit of water to it. And for the vegetable I'm gonna be making today, I have some string bean, and then also gonna be using some pumpkin. So I'm gonna steam my string bean and my pumpkin, but I'm gonna steam the pumpkin first. Then I add the string bean because the string bean I don't want to overcook the string bean because it will get too dark if you overcook the string bean. So I'm checking on the rice and peas pot guys. So the rice and peas is coming on well so I'm gonna get a piece of file paper where I'm gonna cover my rice for it to steam now. So I'm covering my wrap, my, my rice with the wrap now because I want my rice to be steamed and shelly so I'm just cover my rice guys so rice is steaming now so I'm gonna check back on the jerk chicken now and see how it's coming out so my chicken my chicken done pre-cooked guys so my next step is to put them on the grill for them to catch the color so I'm just gonna take them out of the take them out of the, the tin sheet and then add them to the, the grill for them to catch color guys alright so <coughs> this is the sauce from the chicken so this is what we're gonna add the ketchup in and the other ingredients which is some more browning that I'm gonna be dipping the chicken in I'm gonna be dipping my chicken in the sauce guys. And they are already pre-cooked on so this is the juice from the chicken. I'm going to add a red stripe beard to my jerk chicken. And the red 
fresh ripe beer is going to give it a give it a real flavor. So this is also the sauce that I'm going to be using with the chicken. Guys, I'm going to be using a red stripe beer on my jerk chicken. Jamaican. Guys, this is the jerk chicken and the reason for using the beer is to add moisture to the chicken and also to enhance taste and flavor because remember that it is heat so you don't want the chicken to dry out too much okay so guys i'm giving you all the best vlogs please remember to like share and subscribe if you are just seeing my channel for the first time So this is my this is my dinner guys and we are at the end of the video now which is my jerk chicken rice and peas steamed veg which is string bean and pumpkin so if you like this video guys please give this video a thumbs up also if you also if this is the first time you come across my channel please consider subscribing to my channel okay thank you